Hey Scorpio, what's going on? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. We're going to see what's going on with you guys in love. This is your general tarot reading for April 2022 for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to see what's a happening. Um, if you guys want a personal love reading, all the details are in the description box. You can also go to my Etsy shop. I have my readings there my tarot oracle deck spiritual jewelry cheat sheets your bonus extended reading how does your person feel whoever you're thinking about dealing with energetically connected to in some way it is up on vimeo all right for april all right scorpio let's see what's going on messages for scorpio messages for my scorpios out there All right, the challenge for you guys, Scorpio, is the Ace of Swords in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. There's someone that is not communicating at this time. I feel Scorpio, that is the challenge, okay? Someone is not speaking their truth. Someone could be withholding of communication right now. Maybe you feel like someone is being dishonest with you. Now, the Ace of Swords in reverse could also be very cutting. Some of you guys, you had a fight or an argument with someone. It could have been some really harsh, mean, cold things that were said or someone came across as cold. There's a lot of, um, there could be some hostility with the Ace of Swords, okay? In the recent past, we have this beautiful connection, Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Four of Cups. I mean, this is definitely someone that um, you really care for, Scorpio. You have a lot of love for. But I feel like something here where someone wasn't ready for a commitment, there's an energy of someone kind of ruining it all, okay? Or even pushing it away. Someone felt like what you had to offer wasn't good enough for them, okay? It looks like you guys are um kind of in a very unstable place, or at least in the past, something could have happened where something came tumbling down or was broken, okay? Maybe this was some kind of separation between the both of you guys. Someone here rejected an offer is what it looks like to me. Someone may have felt like, I'm not ready or I can't be that person for you. There's definitely an offer being extended and someone not taking it. So there was a missed opportunity in the past. And this could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Now the current energy is the Knight of Pentacles, the Hierophant in reverse, and the Nine of Swords in reverse. We, we see this energy a lot, Scorpio. You're dealing with someone here that I really feel is not ready for a commitment i mean there's a very strong non-committal energy here and i think that you guys may be finding that out right now that there's nothing you can do to make this you know situation change to change this person's mind now some of you guys are not talking to this person it's because i feel like you want it more and maybe there was some kind of argument regarding a commitment someone here couldn't provide that okay there was a lot of stress there's a lot of frustrations I also feel that Scorpio, this Knight of Pentacles, this could be you, okay? Maybe you guys are really trying to approach the situation very delicately. You could be very um, cautious in how you come toward this person. There could be energy of kind of also um, taking it slow and steady, kind of waiting to see what's going to happen. And this could be your person, okay? So Knight of Pentacles, it's not like rushing in, but it's the energy of kind of, let me see day by day what happens. So... On your mind, Scorpio, we have the Three of Wands and the Knight of Swords in reverse. I feel a lot of you guys, the fact that you're not communicating with this person, it's really affecting you. I even feel like it's kind of making you angry or mad. There's something about, I'm going to wait for this person. I'm going to wait, wait, wait. Some of you guys, you've been waiting for like three weeks for this person to finally reach out to you to speak up, um, to talk about what had happened. Okay, there's something about, I'm going to wait for my opportunity or wait for an opportunity to come in with this person. I even feel like a lot of you, you feel like Scorpio, it's this person who needs to take that first step, not you. I really get the sense that there was a there was a disagreement here. Let's see what's going on in the foundation. King of Cups, Eight of Cups in reverse, the lovers. Now, whoever this person is, you're definitely in their energy. Scorpio, this is you with the King of Cups. I do feel like Scorpio, this person really has immense love for you, but I think that they sometimes struggle with showing it. They struggle with finding you know, really come to terms with how they feel and actually putting it into action. So you may find like this person doesn't always like show you that they care. You know what I mean? Even though they really deeply do. Now I do see the energy of this person walking away only to return. 
there's a returning energy here so i feel a lot of you guys they may have tried to walk away only to find that they're not happy elsewhere and they may certainly come on right back okay so there's the energy of this person missing you you both feel very much distant from each other three of wands eight of cups for their energy and I think this person is realizing that they're having to now make a decision. The lovers, how they want to move forward is making some kind of decision about you coming together, right? Gemini energy. In terms of the outcome, we have the hermit in reverse, the ten of cups in reverse, and the sun. Leo energy, Virgo energy. Now, it does look like with the sun, um, something here could be coming to light some it could be like clarity it could be truth coming out something here could be illuminated about the future here i feel like if you're in a situation scorpio where you're very emotional i do see a break i do i do see some kind of separation or uh, i'm even getting like an opportunity where you can focus on what you need to focus on and they can focus on what they need to focus on right the hermit doing some inner work introspection deep reflection i feel like there's a situation you both are very much thinking about and i think what would be best for both of you guys is to take a break from this connection but i do see after this break there's something that could be coming out something that could be revealed about you guys being happy together um but i think this is necessary because i also see that both of you guys are completely emotionally drained okay about this whole situation so the sun is a very beautiful card to have in the outcome it's the most positive happiest card in the tarot deck and again this speaks about happiness joy bliss truth illumination clarity healing hope right all those beautiful things so let's jump right in let's get some more clarity for you guys scorpio if this is your reading like share comment and subscribe all right give me the ace of swords in reverse why is the ace of swords here ace of cups and the temperance in reverse okay it could be a sagittarius obviously there's a missed opportunity right there was a um, opportunity for you guys to come together and have a loving relationship and i feel the temperance in reverse is giving me indication that it's only a matter of time that this is going to be addressed right now someone is definitely holding back and refusing not to talk about this missed opportunity but i feel like it's only a matter of time that this will come out this this will have to be spoken about this will have to be dealt with Okay, so give me the recent past. What happened here? Ten of Pentacles came out in reverse. It looks like someone here stopped, um, stopped really investing. I mean, the Page of Pentacles in reverse could be this person stopped showing up, stopped reaching out to you, stopped communicating, stopped making plans, initiatives, you know, really putting in the effort and energy into this connection. And I feel that someone felt deprived. Someone felt like, you don't care about me. You're not being attentive to my needs, okay? There's the energy of feeling alone and in this place of lack and loss. So there definitely was some kind of missed opportunity for a cup. Someone may even have rejected the other person's offer of love eight of wands and the six of swords in reverse i feel like there was a lot of talk a lot of movement at least there was an expectation that something was moving toward this two of cups like we were going to be together but i feel like someone here was harboring some kind of negativity or resentment from the past whether this was like a, a fight or an argument or something that you guys dealt with each other or something from their distant past like past hurt past trauma past relationships there's something that they hadn't fully put to rest and they may even have brought it into this connection or holding on to it. And I feel like that has led to why something here could not come together or why it was not stable. Okay. So I see that. I see that Six of Swords in reverse being something that was still challenging someone here. They hadn't really put to rest or made peace with something from the past. Two of Cups is here. Justice in reverse. So as a result, it's like this person really loved you, but they really wasn't able to honor the connection, you know? And so they did an injustice to you, but also an injustice to themselves because this is someone who really, really wanted to experience love with you, Scorpio. But honestly, like they've been so hurt or traumatized or damaged from their past that they weren't in a place to offer love or even give and receive love, right? So that's why I see something about timing. Timing could be um, really important. Give me the energy of the current situation. The Hierophant in a verse, the Nine of Swords. Two of Wands in a verse with the Four of Wands in a verse. There's something regarding the home, maybe something from the past, home, marriage, family. And I feel like there's a lot of indecision. 
I feel someone here was very indecisive about offering you commitment and it's because they were not stable to begin with. They were not in a stable place in their life to be able to move towards you with a commitment. There was a lot of anxieties, Nine of Swords, about having this new beginning, Empress, with the Ace of Swords in reverse. So I feel like, honestly, Scorpio, there's an energy of you know, really, really loving um, what they have with you and really admiring you and, and really wanting to nurture the connection. However, they couldn't find a way on how to get this up and running, how to really make that possible. And I really feel like the Nine of Swords is speaking about this person's anxiety, stress, okay? Um, something that they were going through alone and maybe on a personal deep a deep level, you know? And so the Ace of Wands in verse, I do think this person really wants things to move forward, but it's it's much more than that. You know, there's some deep rooted issues with this person and there's some fears and insecurities about being able to move towards you and being able to give to you with that Empress energy. So I feel like this is someone who's saying slow and steady. Give me some more time. Yeah. And it's something. Give me some more time so I can give you that relationship that we both want you know the nine of pentacles in verse is some kind of companionship togetherness coming together and not being solitary so i do think this person is wanting to work their way up to that but very slowly again very very slowly they're not wanting to jump into any of that the only thing i feel like this person hasn't really clearly communicated that to you give me the three of wands with the ace uh the knight of swords in verse it's like they have not told told you that clearly and so you're like waiting 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 for this person yeah, seven of pentacles, the five of cups. And, you know, there's something about you thinking like, well, th what did I do? Did I say something? Did I hurt this person? Um, What did I do? Five of cups is a lot of regrets. Maybe I could have done this differently. Maybe I could have never brought this conversation up. You know, there's something here about you wishing you'd done things differently. And it's regarding... um being able to invest in this connection moving forward you know you may have felt like if i'd done things differently i would be in a different place with this person we would be together working on our future you know seven of pentacles so I, I feel like a lot of you guys you're blaming yourself but really there's a lot that you don't know scorpio the knight of swords and there's a lot that you don't know that this person has never revealed to you as to why they couldn't give you something at the time yeah, and, and you're holding on to that eight of swords. You're thinking, well, maybe I could have did this. You know, you're stressing about it. You're frustrated um, at yourself, perhaps, even. So I do think the three of wands is about, like, waiting, waiting for maybe this um, communication to come through, waiting for this person to take action towards you. Now, they do... They, they do care for you, okay? You are very much in their energy, Scorpio, King of Cups. Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Chair in reverse. I also think that this person, Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Cancer in particular. I think this person really is trying to make sure they got their life and everything is like all together, right? They cross their T's, dot their I's. Everything is the way it should be before they come towards you. Because I really think this person wants to be victorious. The lover's card is here. They want to return, but they also want to do things the right way. And if this person is not 100% ready stable secure and where they need to be they may feel like they can't give you everything that you deserve okay so give me the eight of cups in verse why is the eight of cups here this person hasn't told you yet but they definitely plan on returning ace of swords in reverse i think this person is realizing their love for you is very very strong and the distance has actually made their love for you much stronger king of cups right it's unconditional love ace of swords in verse whether they speak about it or not whether this is like an unspoken love like a lot of you guys you know you're very intuitive you know how much this person cares for you even if it has never really come out their mouth how deeply they care for you right so give me the lover's card there is a very Big decision that has to be made, page of wands, the moon in verse. But before this person makes this decision to be able to move in a forward direction with you with this page of wands, I feel like there's something they're having to reveal. There's something they're having to um, let be known, okay? That's what it says, let be known. The moon in verse, there's a secret. There's something that they're hiding. This could be fears, insecurities, doubts, whatever. There's something that has to be let out, and I think that by letting this out, this person will have the ability to move forward with you. Wands is action, right? There is a desire to move forward with you and move in this new direction, but there's something that has to be let out and be known first, and then a decision can be made regarding you and them with the lovers, regarding coming together. So there's a lot that you don't know, Scorpio, that's going on behind the scenes. The sun is clarity, hope, truth. It will eventually come out. I do feel like in the immediate future, you may still be unhappy and very emotional, very emotionally drained by this connection. 
Yeah, Ten of Wands and the Nine of Cups, burden even, you know, when you have a lot of emotions, it, you know, it creates burdens in some way, right? It's a lot of heaviness and it makes you feel just um, weighed down. Now, the Nine of Cups is here. There is still that desire, that wish fulfillment. You both still do care about each other. There's still the energy of, I wish, I wish, I want, um, I fantasize, you know, I, I, I want to have this with this person. But I do think the Hermit is here for a reason. There could be a need for you guys to really do some deep thinking the wheel in a verse and the four of cups about why something didn't work to begin with the four of cups why there was a missed opportunity the wheel in a verse can also be like there's something here that you have to address okay because if you don't address it you potentially could be repeating cycles over and over and over right and same for this person there could be an opportunity for this person to finally hermit spend time with themselves heal recover do some inner work so that they could they can move forward with you and not miss an opportunity again like this, not sabotage this opportunity. So the sun is bringing healing, clarity, recovery, but also giving, paving a way forward for this connection for you guys both to be happy together, right? So that is what I'm seeing. You can be done with a Virgo, a Leo, a Gemini, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Libra. I mean, we got all the cards here, right? So Scorpio, that is your reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're aware of when I upload these readings. You don't want to miss out. You guys, I hope you all have a great remainder of your week.